you in soon. The guards here are vigilant. Picked up our trail. Hold on. of our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on. the right track. That keep is well protected.
picked up our trail. Hold on. Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his Huga speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often, they sound like my dear Lord. Can I ask a favor of him, on behalf of his son, Hunvold? You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Why has your elderman's death been obscured? The people of Lincolnshire deserve to know his fate, Hunvold, above all. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Hunvald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunvald and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Foul, rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Take care. And you. I shall take you to your family crypt at Nettle and within me.
be gentle if they spot me. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Eivor! What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! Keep steady, Hunwald. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain, last in a line of dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title's not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a shire moot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your shire moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunwald dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor. A word, if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my God commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, 
Thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Humbiolf's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Nadja went to console him. I should follow her. Archer, where is Hunwald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. Go, Sunan. What a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Hunwald. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... 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 The view. Collect yourself, Hunwald. There's many a man in Lincolnshire who would pay to see your head on a pike. Well, they can wait a moment. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. Hehehe. <laughs> 
He and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorf of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat. But it's the wrong end! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humour, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come, and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... ...full... Why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh. Quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Father, give me strength to survive this. Get back here and face me! No, you're away from me! Worms. 
Follow my lead. That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. Unwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find the Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it.
Eivor, I'm pleased you came. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. This has the feeling of a bribe, Ulfgar. Are you trying to win my favor for some reason? Bribe you? Heavens no. This is a simple gift of thanks. For solving the mystery of Hunbiort's disappearance. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damned decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. Are we hunting, Alfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? Forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land of my... There was I. I have a 
may divine rule over the land of my estate, God shall provide. Have no worry. a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! Picked up our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Burn! Stand on the down! With me! Watch the Of our trail. Hold on. The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. Thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgard. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shiremoot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. <laughs> 